भक्ति एंड ही इज वर्सेबल डेटिंग थ्री स्टेज देर सो मेनी स्टेज बट इन नो लैक्स एंड लैक्स स्टेज श्रीदरूप गोस्वामी और सनातन गोस्वामी डिवाइडेटिंग टू फाइव सेक्शन ऑफ फाइव फाइव कहते हो गए ज्ञानी भक्त शुद्ध भक्त प्रेमी भक्त प्रेम पर भक्त एंड देन पट गोपी सारे बो भाव और एनी प्रतिभासी आ रहे बो भाव हु हैज मैन नॉट टेकन बिकॉज ही वॉज अन्या की राशि अदर अन्या की राशि एंड लाइक वाइज बैर बै सो मेनी इन इंडिया गलती शिवी दे गेट देर लाइक फॉर एनी बर्ड इवेंट टू से इन इंडिया के लाइक स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ परवर्डली नॉट कॉन्सिडेंटल कृष्ण इज टेलिंग दैट ओ मदर आई एम नॉट टेक एन अर्थ एंड वाई यू आर ए फील थिंग मेकिंग गिल्टी फॉर मी बट कृष्ण वॉज वट दिन वॉज इट इज ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स इज फॉल्स बट इट इज एंड इन दिस वर्ल्ड वट इज योर नेम फ्रॉम फेयर यू हैव कम हैव यू एनी हाउस अपार्टमेंट अपार्टमेंट यू है दैट अपार्टमेंट इज योर यू गिव रेंट और दिस वट इज योर यू कैन एट एल स्पीक Consequent of truth, all are false. <laughs> so in this material, no, not really true. And in that law, Krishna is no false in there. What Krishna tells is the whole truth. Oh, everything is true. You cannot realize now, but you can realize when you be. Yeah. So we will tomorrow discuss all these very important things, and you should hear it and get it right now. Go, Prima. What you want to tell? Oh Like I told, sometimes problem also. Oh, transcendental sadhana, only in the highest stage in gopis, in the world. Highest sadhana. It begins from us. Thank you. Patience of Guru. What if we don't have a pure Guru? So many understandings of Guru. Then at the end of the Mulambar uh, Yatra, he said that he wants a booklet made out of those lectures. 
Then in Hilo, he gave some more than those added to the booklet. So the devotees made this booklet, and the devotee who paid for the printing, Tulasi Devi, in America, she requested that the books be given out freely without any cost. So she said that. Namo We are, we are now discussing about these stages of bhakti and we are discussing from tomorrow. At first we get experience and as object of our life and mind. Now the process. The process only is only bhakti. And that bhakti is Uttama bhakti. And by Anna Vilasa Sunnam, we have represented. This is the parameter that we can put here and see that where bhakti is even in our heart of mind. If not, we should try to follow the process. And according to this stage, oh, there are so many stages. Karma Mishra Bhakti, Gyan Mishra Bhakti, Yoga Mishra Bhakti and so many times. And then also Sarup Siddha Bhakti, Sangha Siddha Bhakti, Arup Siddha Bhakti, so many. I have explained before. Now I am coming to the root. Root but <coughs> main subject. That is, Sri Sanatana Goswami in Brihat Bhagavatamrita. He has divided it into four, five sections. Jnani <coughs> Bhakta. And then Suddha Bhakta. Premi Bhakta, Prempar Bhakta, I will state it. Here Dhruva has not come in any of them. Because of vividly it is seen that he has some uh, desire of sense gratifications like that uh, 
to kingdom. Even he was benefited from Narayan and he received it. In the last time, when he was going to be liberated from this world, he was given Dhuvalu, but he denied to go there. He wanted to see that his mother should be there, otherwise they will not. So there was some attachment to his mother. That is why Sulajit Shila Sanatan Goswami had not taken their bhakti in this pure bhakti. So from pure bhakti it became, begins. So he tells that in first, O Pradhar Maharaj is, O Gyanam Bhakti, Sanat Sanandan Samatham Raj, Vishma Pitanu is, but man he is telling, why you should explain? Not so much in that area. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> So, Srila Gurudev is explaining about the progressive levels of bhakti and in the realm of the uh, bhakti which is counted as uttam bhakti. On the beginning level is Sri Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj is called a Jnani Bhakta. The reason for this is that <clears throat> Pallad Maharaj, from his very childhood, uh, in the womb of his mother, so all are knowing, you all know this story from the seventh canto, the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Pallad Maharaj was a, a perfected soul even in the womb of his mother. Why? Because he was so fortunate that in the womb of his mother he was able to get the association, the Sadhu Sangha, of the most exalted of Uttam Mahabhagavatas, Sri Narada Rishi, Narada Muni. So he was able to hear all of the pure teachings of Bhagavad Dharma the eternal process of serving the lotus feet of Krishna. And Prahlad Maharaj, within the womb, uh, he had perfect realization. He became Siddha, perfected soul. So Prahlad Maharaj, uh, upon coming out of the womb, he was again returned, or, sorry, before he came out of the womb, he was returned to uh, Hiranyakashipu in the womb of his mother. And then he was born as the son of the greatest, most powerful, materialistic demon uh, practically in the history of the entire universe, Hiranyakashipu. So we know the story of how Prahlad Maharaj was severely uh, tested uh, and severely threatened. His whole life was threatened by his father who tried in so many ways to kill him throwing him underneath the feet of an elephant into a, a pit of poisonous snakes, trying to give, feed him poison, uh, throwing him from the top of a mountain, trying to 
crush him and uh, pierce him with arrows and spears. But Prahlad Maharaj, all completely uh, in perfect realization of the uh, protect protection of the Supreme Lord Krishna, he was not at all worried in the slightest bit. Completely happily situated, he simply prayed to Krishna and had no fear whatsoever. And in this condition, Krishna constantly protected him against any kind of threat, and death could not come near to him at all. So Hiranyakashipu became so much uh, envious of him, and uh, finally in the end, he tried to uh, threaten his life personally, uh, but he realized that the power that was protecting him was much greater than his own power. Nevertheless, he challenged. So, so Lord Nishringadev came and appeared before him and he destroyed Hiranyakashipu. And at that time, when he was very ferocious, in a very ferocious mood, uh, Prahlad Maharaj was sent to pacify him. Prahlad Maharaj was sent to his lotus feet by Lord Brahma and the great demigods. And there he stood before uh, Lord Nishringadev and he offered so many prayers to him. So Prahlad Maharaj uh, had this relationship of realization that his supreme worshipable lordship is all pervading, he is everywhere, he can appear anywhere at any moment, he is all powerful. He had full realization of the Aishwarya nature of his worshipable Lord, Nishringa Dev, Nishringa Bhagavan. Huh? But his mood of praying, his mood of service to the Supreme Lord was lacking a particular ingredient. And that ingredient is the ingredient of Seva Vritti. Because he did not have a mood in which he understood that his Lord requires service from him. Uh, in other words, in those bhaktas who have the mood of dasya bhav, dasya, ra, dasya rati, for uh, Krishna, they always realize that Krishna requires to be fed and nourished, like Mother Yashoda. She has the feeling that my little son Krishna, if I do not feed him, oh, he will die. If I don't take care of him, if I don't give proper uh, discipline to him, he will turn out to be a very misbehaved, very naughty person when he, when he grows up. So in this way, there is a mood that uh, the Lord has transcendental senses, the Lord has a need of my service, and in this mood, this reciprocal mood, constantly, he is thinking of, how can I serve my Lord? How can I serve him in this particular way? But Prahlad Maharaj, he did not have this mood, because only he had come to the level of Jnani Bhakta. And Jnani Bhakta means through knowledge of the supreme Aishwarya, the supreme opulence of the Lord and power of the Lord, that he is not in need of any service from me. So in one sense, this Gyan, it weakens that mood, that intimate mood of service to the Supreme Lord. So Prahlad Maharaj, although he is a Siddha Bhakta, but he is only on the beginning level. He is on the level of Jnani Bhakta. And after Jnani Bhakta, as Gurudev will tell, then it comes to the level of Shuddha Bhakta, pure Bhakta. Thank you. In Gita, it has been told, Chatur Vidha Bhajante Mang Jana Sukhito Juna Artaako Sikyasu Artaati Teisham Nitya Jukta Na Satata? No, no. Teisham no, no. Teisham Nitya Jukta Na Teisham Gyani Nitya Mukta Na Tesham? Oh. Bahu Janma Nanda. 
ध्यान मान मान प्रपत्ति थी वासुदेव सर्वमिति महात्मा प्रहलाद महाराज जी जरिया एंड ही इज महात्मा एंड ही इज टेलिंग दैट ओ दो कैन सी ही एप्री फैर इन ऑटम इन ऑल हर ही इज प्रभु एप्री फैर और सी इज ज्ञान तो प्रहलाद महाराज बन महाभागवत हम महाभागवत एंड एवरी वेर सिंह हिज वर्स पैगुल दट ब्रह्म बट ही हेज नो स्पेशल फॉर्म नॉट ए स्पेशल फॉर्म ही कैन कॉम इन एन इज फॉर्म सो ही वॉज बियानी नॉट दैट ही वॉज attached attached to krishna form but he can come in any form nishing deva and others so especially this symptom is there go will see he is prop prabhu as he fair and in krishna he will see All generous and all devotees, he is Gyan Bhakta. So Prahlad Maharaj is pure Bhakta, no doubt. But having some aspiration, can that he do? At least, in a second he can create all millions of universes. And he can see everywhere he is Krishna. So his father wanted to kill him by all these means that he told. But Krishna used to come and say, and he was saying, and realizing that my Prabhu is coming and saying. So this is the symptom of the man. But only the defect is there that he knows that his Prabhu is having so much appearances. We can only do his thoughts, but he has no appetite. Never tires to message him, or oh, never to give any drink. So how can we say? Only by thoughts, to be by hearing his katha, like samadham kirtanam vishnu shman or sinam archanam bandhanam dasam sarvam. But he still can. Who is the doctor? Oh, you. The doctor can buy. What is it? Shiva Gurudev has ordered me to speak. About the Shuddha Bhakta. Oh, Krishna plan. Uh, Krishna Das plan is not working. The Shuddha Bhakta. The Shuddha Bhakta is Ambarish Maharaj. Ambarish Maharaj engaged all of his senses in the service of Krishna. Anukulena, Krishna Anushilena, Bhakti Uttamam. As Shri Gurudev said, the barometer. Of one's bhakti is this verse by Sri Rupa Goswami. So, unlike Sri Pralad Maharaj, who was not directing his uh, glorification to Brajendra Nanda and Sham Sundar Krishna, this verse Anukul Yena Krishna Anusilana means that Krishna. So, Maharaj Ambarish, as a Shuddha Bhakta, he had his. Um, Kingdom in Mathura. He was performing devotional service in Mathura. He was going to the holy places of Krishna's pastimes. Savai mana Krishna padara vindayo, and he was engaging all of his senses in the service of that Krishna. He was engaging his feet in walking to the temple, his eyes in seeing the deity, his hands in touching and serving the bodies of the pure devotees of Krishna. So he was anukulena. He was doing favorable service for the pleasure of that Krishna, 
with his body, mind, senses, words, and the spiritual sentiments of his heart. That is, he was situated in Bhava Bhakti. He's a sadhak. He's not a siddha. So, he was serving with his spiritual sentiments of Bhav means he was engaged in Manasi Seva. That is, a person in Bhava Bhakti has three levels of consciousness, three stages. Inner consciousness, middle consciousness, and external. Antardasa, Arjabhayadasa, and Bhayadasa. In Antardasa, in his internal consciousness, he was doing Manasi Seva, that is, he was serving Brajendra Nandan Shamasundar in his 24-hour-a-day Astakaliya Lila. At the stage of Bhava Bhakti, one can begin actual meditation on Astakaliya Lila. Before that time, it's imagination, but at that time there's realization, sporty, actual vision of the Lord's pastime, and my entrance into those pastimes with my spiritually conceived Siddha Deha body within. So externally, Maharaj Ambrish was engaged in serving the deity and internally he was engaged in Astakaliya Lila Seva. So this is his glory. Also he was fully dependent on the Lord. When um, Durvasamuni uh, attacked him with the fire demon that was powerful enough to destroy the universe, Maharaj Ambrish, being absorbed in Krishna's Lila, wasn't at all concerned about his own protection. He was weeping, but not weeping out of fear. He was weeping, being absorbed in Krishna's Astakaliya Lila. And he had all the symptoms of a Shuddha Bhava Bhakta. That is, even though Maharaj Durvasa Muni tried to kill him, he was always thinking of Durvasa Muni's welfare and thinking of the whole episode as his own fault. So what was his defect though? There's no defect from our point of view because in many, many millions of lives we hope to attain his status. But there's a defect from the point of view of Uttama Bhakti in terms of those devotees who are engaging their actual body in the service of Brajendra Nandan Shamsundar. Because Ambarish Maharaj is a Shuddha Bhakta, a Bhava Bhakta, he could not serve Krishna with his external body. He was serving with his mind and heart, an internally conceived spiritual body, but he couldn't serve directly with his this body and his senses. And therefore he's a Shuddha Bhakta, whereas the next status of Bhakti will be Prema Bhakti, and that is Hanumanji, who is serving Ram with all of his senses directly because he's in his Vastu city whereas Maharaj Ambrish is situated in Swarup city yet he's not considered any less than Hanumanji although he is a sadak, a Bhav sadak, and Hanuman is a Premi Bhakta that is he's situated in his Vastu city so why isn't Maharaj Ambrish considered less? because his Istadev is higher as Srila Gurudev explained last night there's three things Bhakti, Bhakta, and Bhagavan. That is, who is the Bhakta? That is, in this case, Maharaj Ambrish. What is his Bhakti? He's in Shuddha Bhakti or Bhava Bhakti. And who is his Istadev? It's Brajendra Nandan Sham Sundar. And therefore, because his Istadev is higher than the Istadev, more complete than the Istadev of Hanuman, that is Ramchandra, although he's on a lower level of Bhakti, Still, he's not considered lower than Hanumanji. But you are always here and there. No concentration. But it is different between. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj and Ambarish. Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is again a bhakti. He, bhakta. He has a conception of the Lord's opulence and therefore he, but that again, his bhakti is uh, no same of Riti. He said that he takes double stuti or prayers. Oh, I'm not. Okay. He's all saying prayers to the Lord, but he's not thinking about no, the Lord's 
He's not thinking, my Lord could become tired, or my Lord is thirsty and let me offer him a drink of water. Ambarish Maharaj, on the other hand, his Ishtadev is Vishinga Bhagavan. No. Vishnu. Iti Purusatita Vishnu. Vishnu. Always, always Vishnu. And he can come in any form. So that he, Vishnu, was Vishnu, came in the form of only single. He can come in any form. So you could not hear, I can tell Why? Go. Okay. Amrish Maharaj, on the other hand, is a Shiddhavaka. He is serving with all of his modern body and senses, his Ishtadev, even though he is a Sadak, which is not on the same platform as Maharaj, as uh, Lad Maharaj, who is a Siddhat Bhakta. His Bhakti is considered to be higher because he is actually worshiping Krishna in the temple in the mood, with the, all his moods of uh, pure devotion. And his senses, his mind, his words, his tongue, his feet, everything is walking to the temple. So, what temple? What is the he was walking to the temple with his eyes, he's seeing the deity, the archa, the uh, With his tongue, he's tasting the mahaprasadam of the Lord. In this way, with all his senses, he's engaged in the service of the Lord. So he's called Shuddhavakta. And as Shamarani Didi said, he's in his... Why is Shuddhavakta? Why Because he has no other... Uh, desire for so not Maharaj had any desire? No, but his because he's on the stage of Bhav, Bhakti. And Pala Maharaj's devotion is tinged with the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Always give your attention. At that time, you should think, oh, that person, that person, this has some coming or coming. <laughs> yeah. Like I hear. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. He doesn't have moment of possessiveness for any particular form. 
and where mamata or possessiveness is lacking, then seva is lacking. Because as soon as there's possessiveness, here's my Prabhu, then in the wake of that comes so many different types of services. So because Ambarish Maharaj, he's one pointed to Krishna, and because of his possessiveness for his Lord, so by Mana Krishna Padara Vindayava Vachamsi by Kunti Gunana Vanave, Karol Hari Mandira Majana Tishu, Sutin Chakarachida Sapkatode, his mind is absorbed in remembering Krishna, his words in describing Krishna, his hands in cleaning the temple, though he was a king. With thousands of servants, he never told his servants to clean the temple, he would go and leave that, do it himself. Hmm? Because he has this possessiveness and the mood of service. Always, hmm? during Parikrama, in Vajamandal, he was staying in Mathura, during Vajamandal Parikrama, and serving my Why? Why? Because, why was he doing? Parikrama Prajamandal. Because he, he went to Mathura and was observing Akadasi there, and he had the association of great devotees like a Narad, who knew the glories of Bridge Basis. Therefore, because he had heard the glories of Braj from the lips of great riches like a Narad, and also in Sant Kumar Sanhita, there it is stated that Sant Kumar had given Jugul Mantra to Ambrish Maharaj. So by association of pure devotees and hearing the glories of Vajamandal, or by this he was empowered and inspired to go to Braj and do Parakrama of that place. Therefore, Amrish Maharaj is called Shuddha Bhakta because his bhakti has not been crippled by Aishwarya Gyan, knowledge of the Lord's opulence. The Pralad Maharaj never thinks, oh I should give a cup of water to the Lord. Why? He's not thirsty. I should cook for him, he's not hungry. I should give him a massage, he's not tired. Why? Only I will fold my hands and pray. Mati, the so many prayers, Nago, Payatya Patitin, Kavyastavisha, many prayers of Prahlad Maharaj. But the Shuddha Bhakta and Rish Maharaj, this Aishwarya Gyan knowledge of the opulence of the Lord is far away from his mind. And internally he always thinks, what does Krishna need? Is he comfortable? Is he too hot? Or oh, I will fan him. Is he too cold? I will give him a chana. Hmm? I will decorate him. Is he hungry? I will feed him. Is he thirsty? I will give him something to drink. Is he tired? I should massage him. And he would do kirtan, glorifying Krishna's near and dear devotees, the bridge basis. And therefore, Ambarish Maharaj is called Shuddha Bhakta because his devotion has not been crippled by knowledge of opulence. Those who have knowledge of opulence will come into Shanta mood, the neutral mood, which is characterized by Mamata Gandahin. That means not even a smell of possessiveness for their Lord. And those who have gone beyond the very difficult boundary of Aishwarya Gyan, they will have so much possessiveness, and in the wake of this, many, many services will begin to flow. That Palak Maharaj took Darshan of Nishinghari. And also we hear that when Paman Dev cheated Bali Maharaj and binded him in North Pass, and he was living on ground, then at once Prahlad came with Brahma there. And he was praying, O Prabhu, what I was doing? <coughs> By your name taking or remembering your name, even all kinds of bandha goes away, bondage <coughs> goes away. And even you are here and finding him, <laughs> then Bali Maharaj became very happy. <laughs> then we talk that he is. What should I do? And then we go. You should be in the Bali Maharaj house, house which had 90, uh, 48 or 49 doors. And on the each door, when Bali Maharaj will go here by this door or this door, you will have to be there. 
So Prahlad Maharaj also was there and worshipping Bani. Vamun Deva also, Vishnu Deva also, like Vishnu. So, not Mamata Ananda, but Ambarish Maharaj has something grief for Brajavashiva. Brajavashi likes him. Went to Nantana, he went to Govardhan, went to Bhandi, he went to Vrindavan Rasasthan. Why he went to Rasasthan? Oh Braja, you are like Krishna. Please manifest. Oh Mahamaya, Jo Maya, you should manifest these past times in me that I can serve like this. So he has grief for that. So this is what you know that Krishna has appetite. He has so many desires to dance with gopis. He was blinded in the mother of Mother Jasoda. He was controlled, he was weeping for new world. So he falls. Now Premi Bhakta. Premi Bhakta, who is Premi Bhakta? And what are the correct ways of Premi Bhakta? You. Pagyanatimidanda Sagyananjana Salakaya Chepcho Unmilitangjina Tasmai Sri Gurudev Namaha. As Siddha Gurudev command me to discuss about Premi Bhakta. As you heard as before, from Sri Badarana Maharaj and Sangrani Didi, that bhakti depends on possessiveness or mindness. At first you have heard about Prahlad Maharaj, after that Ambarish Maharaj. Now who is Premi Bhakta? Who has Premi in his soul? He has too much possessiveness. Oh, he is my Prabhu. Ananda Mamata Vishnu, one pointed possessiveness than he has Premi Bhakta. Just like Hanuman, Hanuman's Arabda Dev is Lord Ramchandra, Majala Pusatam Lord Ramchandra. When Ramchandra, Sri Ramchandra get lost of his energy, Sita Devi, then he was searching how to meet his grief. Hanuman came in disgust to meet with him. And he understood his own Prabhu, Lord Sri Lord Ramchandra. Then he thought, oh, how come he can cross the distant, the Rishamukpa mountain is too high and too dangerous. Better, I can take my Prabhu on my own shoulders. So he carried Lord Ram and Lakshman on his own shoulder. Why? He has too much possessiveness. He Prabhu will work, my Prabhu will be tired. You have to pass through danger place. I can fly in the sky, taking both of them. So he did so. When fighting was going on between Demon Ravan and Sri Lord Ramchandra, Ravan had very big castle, but for Lord Ramchandra, nothing was there. What to do? Oh no, no. If I not help my Prabhu, then my Prabhu will be in danger. So I have to arrange a big castle. By his own child, he made very huge castle that all army can be inside there. Not only that, moreover, he became get capable of there. Why? He has possessiveness for Lord Ramchandra. That he can only serve Lord Ramchandra, who are his associates and all armies, because that belongs to Lord Ramchandra. I have to serve Lord Ramchandra, Lord Lakshman, and his own associates. Then my Prabhu will be more happy. So knowing this, Harvi, that my Prabhu is mine. Sometimes he became tired, Hanuman massaging his feet. Sometimes he became hungry, then Hanuman bringing food stuff. Sometimes thirsty, Hanuman supplying water. Why? Because possessiveness is there. And he wants twice level best to make Lord Ramchandra happy. 
लॉर्ड रामचंद्र केम बैक आफ्टर किलिंग देवन रावण वन डे मदर सीता देवी वॉज डेकोरेटिंग एंड सी वॉज पुटिंग वार विलन ऑन इज ऑन हर हेड हनुमान केम ओ मदर वॉट आर यू डूइंग वॉट इज पुटिंग दिस रेड पाउडर ऑन योर हेड सीता देवी टोल यू डोंट नो नो मदर Oh, if I put this red powder, this powder will run. Then your Prabhu will be long life. Oh, really? Yes. Then one man went to it. When Sita Devi went to royal assembly and took her seat left side of Lord Ramchandra, the meantime one man entered the decoration decoration room of Mother Sita Devi and took all that red powder, sindhu, and mixed it. Oil and put all over body top to bottom and became completely red. And he came to he never think that if I put on my whole body, all will laugh at me. He never think I have to make my Prabhu happy. So he came in royal assembly. Seeing this, all began to laugh. And Mother Sita Devi understood. She was smiling, hiding her face. Lord Ramchandra told, Oh Hanuman. What kind of dress you have today? What happened? Anuman told, Oh Prabhu, if my mother can put little bit sindoor on her head, then you will be long life. I want that you will be long, 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 long life. So I put all sindoor, all red powder on my whole body. Why? Yes, possessiveness. He wants to make his Prabhu always happy. So he has strong possessiveness. Then Ambarish Maharaj and Morobar. Prahlad Maharaj. So he is Premi Bhakta because he is Prem in his soul. So who is he? He is associate of Lord Ramchandra and his sister Devi is Lord Ramchandra and his Bhakti is Marjala Purushottam Bhakti. His Bhakti is Premi Bhakta, Bhakta because he has Prem in on inside his soul. So just like if you take any color and melt a glass and if you put together you could not differentiate the color. Similarly, his frame in his soul, it never be differentiated. So he has too much possessiveness. So he is Premi Bhakta. So, Hanuman is Siddha Bhakta. So, Siddha Sanatana Goswami took him as a category of Premi Bhakta higher than Ambarish Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Pancha Kalpata Rupa Shrikita Sindhu Hare Krishna. Pancha Kalpata Rupa Shrikita Sindhu Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Gisham Pitama. He was the father of that is Pitama. Pitama, Pitama. Grandfather of five Pandavas and Dujodhan and all. He is the root of all Kaurava and Pandava. And you know that he was Bal Brahmachari. Bal Brahmachari means from? But he is called Gani Bhakta. Why he is called? He fought with Arjun. Then how he is called? Gani Bhakta. Pralat Maharaj never fought. But he fought with Krishna, uh, Arjuna. The most dear and near devotees of Krishna Pandava, the Arjuna. And face to face, oh, fighting was going. Then how he can be? Oh, he should be done. <laughs> but our Shastra, I told not them. Don't think otherwise. Oh, offensive. So he is Jani. Why? <coughs> For Krishna, to please Krishna, he was fighting with her. Why? There was reason. He, Hisham Pitama, as he liked, that <coughs> he will come towards Pandava. Then Yudhishthir cannot, uh, Dujodhan cannot fight. He will stop fighting. 
then all the demons cannot be killed. Krishna has come to kill all demons and to fulfill, to make happy devotees. So, it was not done. So we are thinking Bhishan Pitama. So I should be towards Dukhyodha. So that battle will be done. And all demons will be killed. And thus the purpose of Krishna will be solved. <coughs> purpose of the Krishna will be solved. So namely, we can against party. But even if we, you, he wanted that Opanvas should be glorious and they should be helpful. Because when Baikam uh, began in the very beginning, Arjun took an arrow and he fought. And that arrow went on the lot of seat of Bhishan Pitama. But like a flower, not going inside, like a flower, he touched. And Bhishan Pitama told, I am very happy that you have done pranam in the beginning, so you should be victorious. <laughs> All this, no? So you should be victorious. <coughs> and then he did for Dhonachar, <coughs> Kripachar too. And they did this. If you have not done pranam, you can never be like victorious. Now, my blessing that you should be victorious. So how this? Once, you know, <coughs> Once Visham Pitama, Visham Pitama, when battle was going, and Dujyotan complained to Visham Pitama that though you are fighting to, on behalf of us, but uh, you never want that we should be victorious. <laughs> you always want that all fun was to be victorious. Or he told us. Why you are thinking so? Don't think like that. And if you are thinking, then you are done, going wrong. Come with your wife in the midnight and she should come and she should have any boon from me at that time when I am in meditation, in, in trance, in mid just in midnight, twelve, <laughs> here. And then, oh, he told to his wife, what name? Manumati. Manumati. Oh, you should be ready. Today we will go to Vishan Pitama. And you should do, go and do pranam to Vishan Pitama. And he will give you the direction. That, <coughs> You will be Sobhaktavati. Your husband cannot be killed by anyone. And thus, very easily, we can be victorious. <laughs> oh, but from today, but today, when he was going, that day, oh, there was very close everywhere. And very heavy shower of rain was going. And so much cold. As the night was passing, more heavy rain was coming, a storm also. So Dunyodhan told Tiha's wife, Oh, oh, let us go tomorrow, not today. <laughs> oh, we should be here. That can So, <laughs> no harm, but today we can suffer from this heavy rock, this rain. So, then, in the meantime, Krishna went to Draupadi, the king of Pandavas, and told secretly, <laughs> you should be ready. <laughs> Just now at 12, or in the midnight, you should come with me on my chariot. 
एंड आई विल टेक यू टू बी समिता एंड यू शुड टेक योर बेल लाइफ इंडियन कवर योर फेस दैट ही शुड नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज एंड देन यू शुड डू प्रणाम टू हिम एंड वेन कॉन्स विल बी फिनिश देन ही विल सी ओ एंड ही विल थिंक दैट यूरोकी हैज कम and then you will give belly dance you should do that so she did she came oh heavy rain was coming so we come umbrella krishna took him in chariot then he oh <laughs> to vishnu pita in the camp of vishnu pita and then when he see when there he was waiting on the chariot and sent draupadi go there she went there and she saw that oh vishnu pita mali large well, very deep from <laughs> then she was waiting oh it may be some kirtan she may be said done or anything vishnu pita opened the eyes and she covered her face with veil and deep pranam to vishnu pita and then vishnu pita told that oh my bedek benediction to you that your husband cannot be killed by anyone and always be victorious <laughs> you should be so bhagyavati at once you at once dropped the cookie belt and began to smile oh dropati how you can this Who brought you? <laughs> oh, I think that that black person. And then, very easy. Oh, he is waiting in chair. And then he sang the song. Oh, he came. Oh, smiley. And for last time, he sang the song. Oh, fell flat on the lotus feet of Krishna. Oh. मारे कृष्णा राखी राखी कृष्णा ओ इफ कृष्ण वंश टू किल एनी वन एनी वन इन दिस रोल इन वर्स कैन एट से एंड इफ कृष्ण वंश टू सेव लाइफ प्रहलाद महाराज एनी वन एनी वन कैन एट और डिफीट और एनी ओ कृष्ण इज ऑल दिस सेविंग लाइक सफा So, he said, "Pita, I'm praying to Krishna that you brought here to me, and not unwillingly I will have to tell her so. Be so happy, <laughs> and then he was just smiling, all very smiling, and Krishna took again in the charge of God the Almighty, and at once." Oh, heavy shower water. <laughs> so you know, Vishnu Pita Ma, Duryani Bhakta, but he always has some connection with or then Krishna. But only you should know who Krishna, Baba Ji is. He has some happiness. Now <laughs> we have. Her big glory for premi for. Do Ambarish Mahara has agreed to serve Krishna with a parishbasi more, and we were fallen by sadhan by by his senses, but not by soul. And one man was doing. He is serving by his soul, his senses, his breath. So he is very much quite liberated. Ambarish Maharaj is not liberated. Sadha, but he has very high flaws. And one man is ragatmik bhakta, not raga nuga. Ambarish Maharaj was raga nuga. And he is ragatmi. Only the four kinds of ragatmi he is ragatmi. So the most, Hanuman is ragatmi. 
but his raga sometimes mixed with as possible. How Hanuman is serving to Ram? He has told you. Not only this, he <coughs> Uh, send Hanuman to Arjun. Once Hanuman and Arjun met. Arjun, you know, the devotee of Varka and friend of Krishna. So, <coughs> once Arjun and Hanuman were meeting, at that time, he was glorifying Ram and he was glorifying Krishna. Arjun Paul, you told tell that Ram, with the help of monkeys, he made a pool, breeze on ocean. He sensed that he was not so much powerful. I can bind all ocean with my arrows and all can go. <laughs> they can cross. But I was not at that time. So Ram, without monkey, he could not have done it. But I can do. <laughs> my Krishna is more, more powerful. <laughs> then Harman told that if you make food, you know, that even I will trust the food. Breach, or it will <laughs> Then, oh, you want to see my breach? <laughs> then he took his bow and arrows, and at first, quickly, he made a very strong breach over a Jamuna river. Jamuna river. <laughs> when he made a breach, then Hanuman had some fear and he oh, was going like <laughs> how powerful is he? <laughs> then Hanuman at once jumped to Himalaya and made his body so much bigger. Right. And he took oh, big, big mountains in his mouth. Oh, he pointed at 